A lot of people inside of the Debt Free Millennials Facebook group have been talking about using cash envelopes to help them with their debt free journey. I myself used cash envelopes and in this video I'm going to teach you how to get started with cash envelopes and how it can help you in your debt free journey. Hey, what's up? It's Justine with Debt Free Millennials, the channel for all things millennial money and debt free living. If you want to learn how to live a debt free life, subscribe to the channel and like this video, and you'll never miss another video from me because we are going to do this together. We're talking about cash envelopes today. So, cash envelopes are beneficial because it actually gets you in the habit of learning. I have a set finite amount of cash to work within and I can only use this amount of cash coming from my cash envelope to pay for things within my budget. It keeps you from overspending. It keeps you disciplined enough so that you can put down a massive amount towards your debt and still live within your means. Now, the very first thing that you need to do when you are getting started with cash envelopes is to determine what categories needs a cash envelope. Obviously, you're not going to be using this for things like rent where that could be an automatic withdrawal from your checking account, but for things like groceries or restaurants, which were two big budget busters for me, I'm going to be using a cash envelope. In fact, I brought all of my cash envelopes with me. I don't use these anymore now that I'm debt free. I use my credit card and responsibly so, but these are all my, all my envelopes and these are my two big ones. And you guys can see like, I really use the out of the restaurant's budget because my R was falling off and I got scrapbook with it. I bought these envelopes at Hobby Lobby and I had all of the other scrapbooking materials and every time that I went out, I would put these in my wallet. So simple. So figure out which categories you want to use for cash envelopes. Typically, these would be problem areas, so you could do one for specifically for coffee. I did mine for restaurants and food. I also had one for just fun money. Anytime I wanted to go out and do something, bowling, movies, anything entertainment-wise, I would put it in the fun envelope. Next, you want to determine how much you are going to put in each envelope. This is where the budget comes into play. You guys can use the budget spreadsheet that I've been using since 2012 to track my income and expenses, but this is where you can start moving around money and focus on how much income do you bring in and then how much of that income are you going to put towards, let's say, a haircut or towards toiletries or towards alcohol. You get to determine the amount and that's what goes inside of your cash envelope. Next, you are going to determine when you are going to withdraw cash from the bank. So the whole point of the cash envelope system and somewhat of a drawback is you have to physically go to a bank and withdraw the money. When I was doing this in my debt-free journey, I withdrew cash every single month at the beginning of the month and I did this just once. You could choose to do this bi-weekly, weekly, or maybe every time you get paid, you can go to the bank and withdraw cash. Just know that you're going to physically have to go back to the bank every single time. That's why I opted to only do it once a month. And it was really funny because I actually had like a post-it note of how many $20 bills, 10s, 5s, and 1s that I wanted. And it would be like really random amounts, like $883. And then I would tell the teller like, these are the bills that I want. And they I, they were definitely looking at me strangely, but whatever, they probably get requests like that all the time now because cash envelopes are a thing. All right, and then a very important rule when you are getting started with cash envelopes is keep your cash envelopes out and bring them with you when you go out. I would literally go to the grocery store and then I would forget my groceries envelope. You can't cheat here and use a debit or a credit card and then say, oh, I'll pay myself back because chances are you're going to forget and what a pain in the ass it would be to try to take that cash and deposit it back into the ATM and then you get all sorts of confused. What I did when I forgot, and I did forget, guess who was driving home? 
<laughs> I would drive back home, get my envelope, and go back to the grocery store because that's how committed I was to the debt-free journey. And if that's you and you want to use cash envelopes, you have got to stick to the plan. So try it out. Maybe just try it out with one category. It could be restaurants. And then every single time you're going out to eat or considering it, or maybe it just so happens that you want access to that money spur of the moment, take a portion of it with you. A lot of people are like, well, weren't you scared having so much cash carrying around in your purse? Like, what if you got robbed? Well, if that's the case, then I wouldn't take all of the cash with me. I would only take a portion of it with me when I was going out. I also carried a purse that had a zipper so that nobody could see inside of my purse. And then when I was taking money out to pay for something, I wasn't like fanning fanning the money in front of people and being like, okay, let's see, how much do I owe you here? I would literally have it inside. Let me show you this. I would have it inside of my envelope and then I very secretly would pull it out one so they couldn't see what else I had in here. You know, I felt very safe carrying around, but you have to do what works best for you and it helped me tremendously. I hope you guys are using cash envelopes to better yourself in your debt-free journey. And even if you're not, just being able to track your spending is key. That is the key to being debt-free, tracking your spending, and cash envelopes is a really great way to do that. So if you're using cash envelopes or want to get started, jump in the comments. Let me know. Are you starting this? Are you doing it? What categories do you have set up? Let me know in the comments.